I want to talk about how to measure for a custom order if you want to measure yourself for a dress or you've seen a dress online and you want to compare your measurements and what's online to make sure or even in a store to make sure that the dress will fit you um, I'm going to show you uh, shortly how to do that so um, in order not to waste time I'm going to go straight to it thank you and see you okay so to do the measurements you need a pen a paper to write with and then a tape measure first of all my tape measure goes from 1 to 120 it's pretty long now you put the tape around the bust where that's what we call the bust you take it around and then what you get the biggest number you get over here that's what you're going to write down in this situation her bust is 34 you make sure there's room enough so she can breathe 34 you write it down and then we're going to do the waist the waist is the smallest portion of your middle and for this one is 25 we'll do the hip the hip is the widest part sometimes I put butt some people have bigger butts than hips or bigger hips and smaller butts the butt is the two cheeks, the glutes in the back, and the hip is this side, the widest part. So you do this, and you can use the hip for the same thing. If you're using the hip measurement for the same thing, you make sure that you take the tape measure up and down to see that you have room enough so when you sit, um, your skirt or pants will not open, <laughs> will not best <laughs> open up. Now, for the shoulder, the back, the shoulder measurement, I'm going to use this mannequin. This dress form here would help us to measure the shoulder properly. So look, you put it on the tip of where the shirt meets, the, the seam on the shoulder meets, to the next seam. You arch it a bit, just so that it's not too stiff when you wear the dress. So it's arched a little bit. And the shoulder for this one is 15 so I write it down and measuring the back length depending on how if the shirt the front or the back is longer than the front you measure like that you put it there what I call the bonus and you take it down to however long you want it so this one the shirt here it measures to 25 and I write it down now to do a sleeve, if you want a short sleeve, it depends on how long you want it. You put it at the tip of the seam of the joint, of the sh shoulder joint. And then the long sleeve will be about that, however long you want it. So if you want it this short, this is 7. If you want it much longer, you take it this way. Now, for longer sleeves, you want to bend your arm slightly. Not so much as this mannequin is, but slightly. So you put it there, you take it over the arch. The reason is if you bend it, now look, it will seem like it's longer, but that's her sleeve bent. If I make it straight, the sleeve will be short when her arm is straightened. So, let's look again. This is her sleeve length. There's room for her to be able to bend her arm. Now let's keep it straight and see. You see that it's on 20.5 and it comes to the tip of her finger, her little finger. And if I were to measure without arching it, this, this is her wrist. And when she stretches out her arm, it's going to be short. So you always want to bend your arm slightly. Not so much. Not so much. Slightly. Now, um, we'll do the cleavage. You put the 
tip of the tape measure from number one to nine or ten or seven, however low you want it. Then you write it down. Now for a longer dress length, you go from the shoulder to the floor, to the floor. For a pair of pants, you want to measure your thigh. So you take it round, so one thigh would be like that, 17. As I mentioned earlier, you want some room so you can move, otherwise sometimes it's hard to fit into your clothes and you think the clothing maker did not do it right. And this will be the rise if you need it. Most people don't usually need it. And if it's a pair of skirt or pants and you want the length, you, you put it, this is like the belly button, but because the legs are there, I put it over here and take it down to the floor. You can put your shoes on to help with length accuracy. Now if it's a skirt, same thing, you put it on the waist, the belly button, you make it however long you want it, like so. So that will be the length or long, depends on how long you want it. Now the armhole, you put the tape measure around the armpit to the shoulder, the top of the shoulder. Let's do it on this one. Like that. So you know, some people have bigger arms but they are skinny. Some people have smaller arms and they are bigger sizes. So it just depends on. That's why um, the person, that's why you would need the arm measurements too. You could also measure around the neck if you're asked to. Or you need it for any measurement. And this is 13. Now, um, for the men, your bust will be the chest same as the women. So when we say chest, you just measure around the biggest portion for a man's shirt or a suit. Now for the men, if you want to measure the jacket, you put it around the chest like that. The bigger portion. And then you measure the stomach. That's the waist for the women. Like that. If it's a longer dress, and you need a tail, you put it from the back around where your skirt sits, you take it down on the floor and then you lengthen it. So you measure however long you want it to be dragging the floor and that will be the tail for you. Depends on however long you want it. And then you write the measurement down. For this one from the floor, so for, for your skirt length, if it's long, it's from there to 45. If it's just a regular length with your shoes on, it might go to however long your heels are. So let's say 49. And if you want a tail, you add however many inches more you want, say 5 or 10 or 15 inches extra to be dragging the floor like a gown. Then you add that. So this one went to about 59. And you record it. Okay, so this brings us to the end of how to measure yourself for clothing. If there's any point that I missed out, kindly leave a note. I'm going to um, make a video to correct that or I'll just insert the missing, <laughs> the missing point. Okay, thank you very much for watching and stay blessed. Always remember, people are very important. Alright, take care. Bye!